have already won the first map. So need a, I'd like need to dig deep CX2 essentially in this round um, to try and recover some of that lost momentum in the last map. 13 rounds on the bounce is the count that London Esports managed to pull through with. Which is an unbelievable number when you consider how strong CX started the first map. To the first round. Strong behold here coming in from CEX. LZ will go big and get a headshot onto JS, but Emai's there to back up and get the trade. Murky will also pick up Emai, but Murky's taken down by ZNX. Whitey takes down ZNX, and Silcass is there to pick up Whitey. Alas and Luzza left as well, actually, Luzza taken down, so Alas is last man standing, and Leaf will pick up double kill there in order to secure the first round for London Esports. We are going now into round two. But London Esports still keeping that momentum up from the last <laughs> last map we played. Not to speak too early though, it is only round two. We said this is a best of three. This is the second map, but the esports do have the first. Right now, CX need to dig deep and plan the defense of B site. You have the one solo player up at Fountain causing a bit of distraction, making a bit of noise. Alan Z will get taken down by Eli with some assistance there from Leaf. Oh my days, Emai, that was a hell of a shot into LS there from into heaven, from Sunrise in fact. JS will pick up Murky. Again, making sure that nothing else comes up from behind. And Whitey and that's, uh, that's who it falls down to. Whitey is playing quite aggressive. And Leaf is more than happy to provide us with a little bit of content there. Nice headshot coming in from Leaf. Pick up his first kill of this round. And Luzza is going to look to save that scout while the rest of London Esports back off from site in order to save. Two rounds to London Esports as we go into round three. CX again looking to put quite a heavy defence on to B. Even Lezzo all alone with the scout at the party. He will get a hit onto Soulcast. We'll trade out with EMI for EMI to push forward with the AK. Not sure how many people Lezzo saw there. The rotation hasn't been called as of yet. So still the only player up coming I mean, well, there to defend day essentially from and stack. Leaf is actually pushing quite aggressively forward. Yeah, I think he's going out to see you know, what the score is, where players are. Are we freely available to move forward? Leza again playing a defensive action, putting some shots into Silkas and Leafy. Leaf, not Leafy. I will stop saying it at some point. <laughs> and Bomb is now looking to go towards long A. Does he's still there? Still there, still solo actually as well. Twenty-five seconds left on the clock. Some movement needed now by CEX to push forward. They haven't shown bomb as of yet, so the rotation hasn't come in. But we will now start to see a lot of the CEX players move in. Lazo with a huge kill there under Leaf, but JS is behind. Seven seconds left on the clock, plenty of time to get the bomb plant down. 
JS will come up behind. Indeed, connects with one but isn't able to get any more as Murky drops JS. ZNX picking up YD, my picking up LS. Just left to Murky. MP5. Should try and save if he can or make something of this. Looks as though he's waiting for the players that are going to come hunting. He will find one. But ZNX is just a little bit too quick for him there and does manage to secure the round for London Esports. That's three on the bounce for them so far going into round four. This major sort of buy run coming in from CX. Again, quite a heavy defence there. Do have who's playing towards long A. Smokes are going to start. To get thrown towards A site. You can see Alan Z's coming there now to back up Luz. Uh, Luz up. Uh, some Whitey still holding down at B. And Molotov will push Luz out of position. He gets the first. He isn't able to connect with the second fully. Leaf is picked up by Alan Z before JS managed to secure the kill on to Alan Z. This now leaves Whitey and LS to try and recover this round. That grenade will do some damage to e my As Whitey push, pushes and pushes and pushes actually to make Emai fall back. Low HP coming in there from JS though. The smoke is on the bomb and he will potentially look to stick this if he can. LS is able to help out. He might does pick up Alice in the end, but it's round complete for an esports as the bomb is diffused through smoke. CX putting one up on the scoreboard for themselves into round 5 3 1 to London Esports. will be left a nice little secure position for them they don't need to take it with them just yet he's hoping to get the opening frag here as ZNX pushes up will actually back off in the end having ZNX a little bit of space to breathe and push himself up into the corner bouncing two perfect grenades off pillow there into Whitey eight both of them and didn't come out on top unfortunately as uh, with the org is able to take down Leaf. Just throws a grenade over the top. It does connect with Soulcast, does a little bit of damage. You now looking at flashes coming into B site. Bomb isn't anywhere near B though. It can be recovered and moved to a site relatively quickly from its current location. Which Jess is in the process of doing. Will now look to go and rejoin his teammates Tedanex and Silcas down towards the B site. Oh, Zedanex picks up Murky straight away. Alas is trying to do some delay in action, does in fact get the bomb drop, but Silcas is all over him with Emai then picking up Alan Z. So his last man standing will get the spray on to Soulcast. Knows the orb is to the right. Not certain if he knows that ZNX is already in the pit. He will get the spray on to one. Can he connect with the second? He's going to chase down with the USP. Doesn't have any utility to use. Doesn't have a defuse kit either and... Emai's going to make him chase. 
is it? Now looking just to get the kill in the end, save the AWP. It will lose them the round, unfortunately, and London Esports do take the fifth round, putting them 4-1 as we head into the sixth round. Quite unfortunate there from Leza, trying to... essentially just trying to chase down the man, but isn't able to pick him up and ring around the Rosie starts to happen. Big B push here coming in from Brandon Esports. And it looks as though we'll see oh, what a kill there from Lizza. Picking up JS even through Flash. Very nicely done indeed. And Z is wiping there, but so Cast goes huge and picks up a 4K. LNZ, Whitey, LS and Murky all getting dropped by what has been an unbelievable player in the last two maps. Plus it's just going to look to try and save this Orc now for the next round, but that was an unbelievable spray down there from Silcas. Not one, not two, not three, but four kills back to back. And these guys are hunting, they want the kill. <laughs> They want to get this, uh, want to get this all back if they can. So Cass and L and Z are going to push together. As you can see, Z is in party. Will he have the footsteps behind him? I believe. Don't think he's going to be able to connect. He will be able to connect one of the shots, I believe. In fact, no, he doesn't actually need to because the timer runs out. Saved by the bell there for the Z. Silcast went huge in that last round. 5-1 as we head into round 7. Deep push again coming in from London Esports. He's taken a hefty hit there already. Still holding strong. Four men on B site again. This is just holding A all in the zone. I'm wondering when London Esports are going to figure this out, in all fairness, and try to make some sort of dominant move. That boost will come in perfectly, and now then ZNX is able to pick up LS. Completely unaware that he's being watched from boost. So Cass and JS now start making their way up towards the A site. Next, making a ton of noise, however, and Murky is just around the corner. With an org, a smoke grenade will be pulled into position to allow Murky a little bit of scope for maneuver, perhaps. Joins his teammates. Oh, Luzzer gets caught out. So cast BM there with the AK spray into Luzzer. JS picks up White Diaz. He's behind already. Marky's next on the feasting table. Alan Z, last man standing now. We'll pick up one and two, but isn't able to connect onto the third. Um, sorry, isn't able to connect onto the third, yeah, but bomb is planted anyway as well so the money keeps rolling in for London Esports as we head into round 8 6-1 in the first half of the second map London Esports did win the first map looking to try and dominate as much as they possibly can in the second Top will allow them, but a scope for manoeuvre. Oh, Lazar unfortunately does get picked up through the fire and flames by JS. Mighty is, however, standing relatively close. Murky does pull back a little bit and gets taken down by JS. That grenade will succeed in going through the hole in the door. LS is still standing by, though. Oh, what time in there from JS. He does get dinked through the door, he's able to recover the AK, but Silcass is getting ganged up on here. Is it 
Mex is actually there to help assist in the end. Well, I'm now making its way towards A. Uh, so Cass looks to clear up Whitey from B. Cole going out, B side is potentially ours. Alan Z hasn't been seen as of yet, so still has full HP and some utility to boot, so could use that effectively should he need to. He's going to make his way along the toilets. Leaf is not too far away here. As he needs to be very quiet if he wants to survive out this round. Leaf is pushing up. Oh, LNZ doesn't manage to connect the first two and gives Leaf plenty of chance then to plant a few solid shots into him. 7 1 going into round 9 in favour of London Esports. I don't know what CX can do really, I mean, I find it almost impossible to cap, you know, to, to capitalise on London Esports. London Esports are playing quite aggressive as well, you know, always looking for the flank, always looking to get behind. But unfortunately they're just not able to do anything more. ZNX opens things up with Lazar getting taken down, Emai is close behind. A shot onto Whitey. So the next then picks up LS. So Cass just destroyed Murky there. Clean headshot and Alan Z is last alive. Will pick up Leaf. So Cass isn't too far away and he actually manages to pick up So Cass as well. Look to secure the AK for the time being. Oh would be nice to have I suppose going into the next round but at the same time he still needs to survive he won't survive very long though as ZNX manages to capitalise on the movement eight one into round ten This is just going all London Esports at the moment as we get ever so closer to the end of the first half. That flashbang will wipe out LNZ. He's able to pull back at least anyway. We're looking like an A push here from, C from, uh, from London Esports if we get my wizard right around. Still towards A on long A. So the hands of Emai with the AWP. A smoke grenade will land perfectly there to cover their position to move forward. JS gets his head taken off by Alan Z. Lovely crisp one deek. Does take a little bit of damage in return, but we'll be definitely happy with that new frag. Oh. My missing that orb shot isn't the best, but still Cass is able to pick up. There's a Alan Z trades with Silk Cass, but ZNX is there to secure. Whitey picks up Leaf. JS picks up ZNX. Emai is last man standing against two pistols here as we start. Rigor on Rosie again, but the looks of things. But Alan Z will make short work of that game and put you might in the ground or oh, being secured as well for the next round for them eight two as we go into round 11 on any sport still again leading the way Grenade will connect with Leaf and Emai. A lot of damage, and ZNX and Silcast will also eat one as well. 
Good damage early on being dealt by CEX on some of these spots. So I hope they can convert that damage into kills. And Z is helped into position by Murky. Managed to get the spray done on to Z and X. Zala is standing by and Leafy drops to the orb. Is that looking now down towards long A? We'll see the jump and manages to pick up JS. He also sees Emai, but isn't able to secure a shot onto him straight away. He will see, or will guesstimate at least anyway, his move into his view. Soulcast picks up Murky, but Whitey's there standing by ready to drop a few shots into his dome. Took a bronze here from CEX. She runs on the bounce with the win. Into the final three rounds here of this half. 8 3 the score in favour of London Esports. And that bomb is slowly but surely making its way towards long A. will come out to help LNZ out a little bit there from Murky. I should know from White even, I apologise. And the B defenders are getting a little bit aggressive there. <coughs> Starting to push forward a little bit too much. Flashbang will come in to help Leaf push forward. ZNX will get the opening frag. He actually manages to secure the two, in fact, and that rotation is now coming in from London Esports as they push down towards B site with the bomb. Whitey managing to do some damage, but isn't able to secure a kill. So Cass will look to cause a distraction with smokes, mollies, and flashbangs going over into the B site. Meanwhile, will pick up Murky, JS grabs LNZ, and then Whitey immediately afterwards. Secure in round 12 for London Esports. Takes us to 9 3. A really solid two rounds there from CX back to back, but just not enough to keep that momentum going, unfortunately. Bomb will be left. Not too far away from Soulcast, excuse me. <clears throat> That's uh, just unlucky there with the timing. There's JS, Emai, and Leaf. Look to push up a little bit more. Oh, Leaf is caught out there. And that walk has a very nice headshot. He might well pick up LS. Great reactions there. Whitey is hiding on B site. He's allowed two of the T players to push forward around him. Seems so easy to lay in an ambush, more or less. He will move out of position to try and get some eyes on if he can. That grenade will do damage to Whitey, and ZNX will be able to pick up the kill after Whitey moves out of position. He might get one, but Lazar is there ready to drop a shot into him. Alan Z going for the boosted player but isn't able to do enough damage to secure a kill. So the next make a little bit of noise, we'll get the one, can't trade off into the second but still Cass is there. It's a 10-3 into round 14. As London Esports puts everything out to try and get this map over with. Two 
runs left of this half. CX, again, we've said it a number of times, I know I've repeated myself. I need to pull something out the back here because this is one way traffic at the moment. And London Esports are more than happy to keep driving that way if CX allow them to. LNZ will get picked up by. Sorry, yeah, LNZ will get picked up by ZNX. Murky. And just kind of shot into ZNX, but. ZNX is still. Working his angles there. JS moving up under the cover of the Molotov. Will look to secure a kill on to LS and actually does in the end. Oh, ZNX. ZNX and Soulcast have literally just breezed through B site. As that does pick up ZNX in the end, but a grenade coming in will do only a slither of damage to the Zar. My does in fact get dropped. That drops the open, so I'll be more than likely happy just to take the open run. Keep that back for the last round of this half. Not a huge issue economy wise, though, for on an esports team, might have plenty of money, so you can look to replace it. It is the last round as well, so. Does need to worry about taking over money into the round after. Going into round 15, London Esports are going to be 11 to 3. And that will, will definitely help our economy wise as, as I was able to drop. Teammate. And Esports looking to go in as strong as they possibly can into the second half. 11 3 is very strong indeed, but 12 3 sounds a little bit better, I would imagine. Oh, Smokes and flashes coming out. S and Whitey being hyper aggressive on B. Whitey getting the bench of himself and realizing he needs to pull back a little bit, but Emi is able to pick up Lazar. Leaf had spotted him a few seconds prior to that. Wasn't able to get an angle. Murky is standing by and he will get the kill on to Leaf. Three in the final round of this half. CX definitely need to do something huge here if they can. Got a man advantage at the moment, so Cassie Mine and JS still looking to move that bomb on to B by the looks of things. So that's very nice picking up J picking up LS there straight away. The opening frag, that is even not so much even actually when you consider the health deficit. Ooh, Emi and JS. Trading kills there. LNZ is able to pick up one, but it's a 1v2. Bomb is down, so the clock is ticking for LNZ and his back is turned to Silcas. Secures Foul round of this half for uh, London Esports. 30 at uh, 12. 3 now, in fact. In favour of London Esports. CX, they were looking to do something, hopefully. Get their second win. We've seen it a number of times in the other games that we've casted with them. You know, they are sometimes able to bring it back after a, you know even a number of round losses. 
the biggest difficulty though in, in this situation is that when you consider in the first map they had 13 rounds in a row lost and then they've only picked up three out of 15 in this game in this map it's it's gonna be hard to get the momentum back and get the motivation back more than anything about two pounds out from uh, Heidi Hole, so so Cass will pick up Whitey straight away. As a uh, is damaged there by So Cass, and JS manages to finish him off with a crisp headshot there. London Esports now will know that the bomb is going to go down to B and be planted. Oh my days, Soulcast. Soulcast is an absolute madman with that USP. He's able to just decimate and destroy in this game. He did it the entirety of Dust 2 on the second half and he's now continuing to do it through the entirety of this map. 13-3 in favour of London Esports as we go into round 17. going to get the entire stack of CX players moving together as a pack. That grenade will do a lot of damage to Leaf. Nothing in return from him though, so he will look to try and pull back as best as he possibly can. He might will look to come up and try and support. The bomb is long and Leaf is going to get shot in the back there by Whitey and it looks as though he might have pushed up a little bit to pull back a little bit now actually get himself onto side the ultimate shots from LS do land but not a lot of damage placed onto Emai LS gets picked up by Emai but LNZ is able to pick up not one but two so cast the deadly player from London Esports taken out of this game LNZ looks to pick up I still cast left off on a site. Do still have a player A long, which is Whitey. Ooh, LNZ. Low HP. And unfortunately won't be able to do it as Whitey clutches the round out. TX winning that round, that eagle. We're still here. <laughs> you know, we're still, we're still playing against you. We are capable of, of having a second win like we've seen in previous games with them. And an eSports on a full eagle. He was all round. Oh, Murky picks up JS. Spray down there. Emai pushed out of position that Molotov did start to help LS but Emai was able to recover quite nicely and land the headshot in the end. So class is ready to receive two by the looks of things murky is there with LNZ. The intel will come in now from Leaf. That flashbang just whited Silcast out completely, not able to see any of the players that are coming up. He might a single tap there to Lusa's head, securing the kill onto him. The bomb will go down on a site. It's planted bank side. ZNX will get one and get two. Picks up the AK and secures the third. What a retake there from ZNX, creeping up behind, popping with two deagles, picking up the AK and just wiping all of CEX out there on that bomb. 14-4 as we head into round 19. Mm. 
said in XF in a hell of a game this this map just Ryan CX with him and so cast there. Leaf and Emai picking up the first two. Emai picking up an orc kill, Leaf picking up his MP9 kill. Murky does pick up so cast on the defense, but JS is there to pick up Murky in return. White DM Lazar need to figure something out here and make arrangements. Lazar will pick up JS. Hyper aggressive coming up behind. It's now a 2v3. He does have the bomb, so they like to try and get the plant if he can. Reef has spotted him out, however, the bomb is still going to continue to go on to B. Emai with the orb gets the opening that he needed there, gets the kill onto the Zerb, but Whitey is still in this game. We will get sprayed down by ZNX in the end as we come up to what could potentially be the last round of this game. 15 4 in favour of London Esports. They've already won the first map, so if they win this round, that is it. It's a best of three, and unfortunately, CX do lose out. There's an eco by or eco round here for CX as well. And they're going to look to run as a pack towards B. The spray down will come in from Soul Cassie. Gets one, but JS is able to pick up Ella. Uh, Ella is able to pick up JS. Said so next, and Soul Cass sharing the lion's share of that damage and the kills in the final round. And that leaves us at 16 4 to London Esports. Unfortunately for CX, they do not continue. London Esports played exceptionally well there in the first map. And managed to clear up house in the second.